Mangakis. What's your last name, Greg? Mangakis. Huh? Mangakis. Greg? Yeah. Mangakis? Yep. <laughs> and so Chris called, you know, emails me out of the blue, and, uh, but that's cool, you know, man. I like the, you know, uh, I hope I can always keep that, you know, connection, you know, with uh, my YouTube friends. So he says he's got a good, great friend of his, uh, Chris, Chris Smith. Uh, at Long Island, they're both from Long Island, and they were buddies uh, since they were knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, Chris said, "Hey, you know, I'd like to come over. He's, he's got some work up in Bloomfield, which is, you know, an hour or so away, and he was going to be here on a Monday." I said, "Well, you know, we're not open on Mondays, but you know, he says he's a good friend. He wants to give him a nice Christmas gift. They, he he watches the YouTube channels and uh, turned Chris on to the YouTube channel. So I said, you know what? What the heck?" What's better than take a little bit of time and, uh, but he, just, he said, he wanted, I said, well, if I did it, what would you like to cook? And he said, well, Chris is, uh, Chris's favorite dish was, uh, uh, my phone's ringing, sorry about that, uh, was a, a, a duck larange. And I hadn't made it, you know, I mean, I haven't didn't made the orange sauce in years. I said, yeah, it'd be fun, you know, come down here and relax, uh, you know, in a relaxed setting. Normally I'm doing the videos in a real busy, hectic, uh, you know, time restraints, you know, between getting ready to get set up for a dinner service. So, it was really enjoyable, and I got my buddy here, Axel. Come here. So, this is for you, Chris. And I, I brought my buddy in, you know. And he's good, because anything drops on the floor, he's on it. <laughs> What's up, Axel? All right, we'll be right back. All right, so uh, what we have is a Pekin duck, not Peking, a Pekin. And they're, they're from Long Island, originally. You know, Long Island, when I was coming up, was famous for ducks. And what happened was, um, they had a Dutch, it was something called a Dutch bird flu. And, um, and, and so what happened was the government came in and, uh, and uh, seized. What happened with the ducks, the ducks were laying, they saw was laying on the ground with their uh, wings out. They couldn't stand up. And uh, they had never been on U.S. soil before. And uh, it was Danish, Danish bird flu. And, uh, they came and confiscated and euthanized all the, all the uh, ducks, confiscated all the eggs, and essentially wiped out the duck population. Uh, all the farms, the duck farms, which probably now are the Hamptons and the big, you know. Wow. And, uh, I, you know, my theory is, which I've read, you know, in some books, it was that Plum Island. They think it might have come from Plum Island. Wow. So, uh, so here. So I, let, I washed I washed it. I like to leave that out. I like to cook that separately, the fat. And uh, I'm just gonna leave this on. It's kind of hard, you know, to cut these. These are these are. I do like. They are a little tasty though. So I kind of like to cook them separate. And uh, I serve it with this this wing bone on. I have a funny, uh, funny bone to cut. So uh, that's what we're gonna do here. And uh, I just really uh, salt pepper. I washed, I washed it out thoroughly. And uh, just season it up real good. I put a little bit down inside. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the wood oven. I got the wood oven going. We'll take a walk on over. So right here, I have a duck that we already roasted yesterday. And then I have some nice uh, accompaniments, a nice wild rice we're going to do. And then what I did is I took, I took the neck bone and uh, the neck bone and some of the wing tips and everything. So I've already started a little stock going for our sauce. So I'm going to serve it with a nice assortment of vegetables. I've already like uh, some garlic tomatoes and I about half cooked them. I'm making an orange sauce. Of course, I forgot the orange at home. But hey, seeking you shall find. I found this underneath the, you know, in the in the beer cabinet. You know, my bartender Corey. Uh, you know, so we're going to utilize that maybe for our sauce. 
that's all the grease that came off. That's all the grease, the duck fat that came off. Save that. It's one of the best things you can use in baking. Baking pie, pie crust, uh, you know, use it for your sauteed, you know, sauteing duck fat is... Uh, use a pie crust, really? It's excellent, yeah, really? excellent. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's come on over to... Uh, Residual heat from yesterday. We were open yesterday for a party for the local firefighters. So uh, that's my best part a little snack, a little duck fat. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to put this in. I'll probably give that, um, we'll see how it goes, but you know, this oven's not quite up in temperature. We'll get it started here. We might move it over to the other oven. And we'll be right back. That duck went in about three, ideally about 350. Um, I think I cooked this about three, a little hotter, about 375 for a little bit over an hour. And uh, this here is what my my aunt Liv used to call the Pope's nose. <laughs> Last one over the fence. What's up, babe? I'm back. This is Rachel. Hey, this is Chris. Doing? Nice to meet you. We're doing a video to his, his best, we say best friend? Yeah, oh yeah. Best friend Chris and uh, from Long Island. They grew up together. Yeah. And uh, his friend, he's going to, this is a video for his uh, Christmas. Wow. Thoughtful friend. Drove all the way from Long Island today. Really nice. Is that the dog? Yeah. Did you give me credit? Oh, yeah, oh. Rachel, hey, Rachel did all my shopping for me. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. See, now just uh, see how this here pulls right off. See? Nice. Pulls right off. Put your thumb in there to uh, get the thigh. A little on the rear. Sometimes, you know, I kind of kept it on the rear side. That is like gold right there. That uh, that carcass. Yeah. I gotta get the bad boy knife. Hold on one second. Plus, your hands are a little greasy. bits and pieces. I got a little bit of stock going right here. You want to come check it out. So I'm just going to bust off a couple of, a couple of key pieces to get some flavor into that. Okay. Uh, a lot of that natural flavor stock for our sauce. <laughs> I'm trying to lick my fingers, so uh, time to go into the oven. So I just hit it with a little, uh, not too heavy, a little bit of a uh, little bit of grandma, grandma on top. <laughs> okay, what I'll do is uh, just to get her going a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, it, I'm gonna get this going on the. Uh, Get some heat into it quick. Just kind of preheat, you know, kind of preheat our. Uh, this is like three quarters, you know, three quarters cooked now. Let's 
just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of water you know, to add a little bit. Probably that oven will be up to temperature. We fire right in that oven in like 15 minutes. Yep. Okay. Put that right in this oven here now. We got it. We're up to about 350. Oh, that smells good, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, now we'll start our sauce. What's up, Ed? Jack, how you doing? Edward, what's going on, buddy? Uh, come down to see the master at work. <laughs> this is Chris. How you doing? Chris. I heard this duck in town. I had to come down to see. You smelled it from Jack. down the block, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, put some. Uh, we're gonna make a little uh, caramel. And uh, caramel with uh, some red uh, red wine vinegar. Regina, of course. We're just gonna cook that down. So. What we want to do is uh, it's kind of a combination of a sweet and sour, you know, the uh, the orange sauce, and then uh, hey, I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop this in here too. Just uh, that's my favorite part, snacking off the carcass. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know we. The initial duck was about an hour, a little over an hour. Uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna probably do that about another, another 20 minutes or so, I would think. This is well, whatever, whatever sugar I've got. Still don't have smell of vision. <laughs> hey man, you know what? Let's let's collaborate. Let's try to do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Get a little bit of the uh, rind. We're gonna put that in with our. Uh, It's amazing how much flavor comes out of that rind. Smell yeah, it's good. I saw Jack Pepin, he's one of my favorites. Oh, he's great. I saw him do it. He, he, he uh, squeezed the rind over the flames and it actually ignited a little bit. Okay, so here's what we gotta be careful. Okay, see what we got now? Turn the fire down a little bit. So we've got the caramel consistency right now. See, normally I'd have made that stock. I'd, normally I'd have made that stock, you know, the, the day, you know, maybe last night or whatever. You know, you have plenty of good duck stock already cooked. So this is like, you know, just still in a in a reduction stage. Good. Edward. 
over. Do you want to try it? Huh? No, you need to get over here. <laughs> if you want the final product, you gotta, you gotta taste I'll, I'll this right it. here. Brother Jack, if you say jump, I say how oh, high, man. A taste Whoa. tester, tough job, Thank right? Careful, it's hot. Right, Edward? <laughs> Bottle this for Christmas presents. <laughs> oh my God. We're talking about friends, you know, you got a friend, I got a friend here with Edward. He, he supports us so much here from when we started. It's great. And you know what, he's the, He's the, probably the biggest blues nut uh, beyond me, besides me, yep. or, or including me. You know, we're, we're right there, man, because uh, Edward, Edward travels far, far and above anywhere to go uh, check out some good music. Is there anything better than good friends, good food, and good blues? I think so. Uh, there may be one other thing. <laughs> we won't discuss it. No, we won't even go there. <laughs> it's a family show. That's right. All right. So, uh... Let me just show you this little deal here. Uh, yeah. I took, like I said, all the fat off of here. This part. But see all that natural, uh, I let that solidify in the bottom? Yep. See all that? That is gold. Hmm. They're both gold. That fat is gold, this is gold right there. What is that? That's just all the uh, natural drippings gotcha. off the duck. Oh, I know where that's going. Yep. <laughs> that's going right in here. That's, as, as, uh, as Guy Fieri says, flavor town. Yeah. I don't waste any of that. No. That's how you develop your flavor in cooking. You see that right there? They're just going to continue to reduce down. And, uh, I'm actually going to utilize every bit of this orange I found. Because again, that's uh, that's going to look nice in our sauce on a, on a final the final approach. What I'm going to do, my guy Axel loves oranges. He's waiting for, for a taste, but I don't know. We'll see what we can do. You've been a good boy. Talk about friends. Man, my, my, my buddy Axel is one of my best friends. He just, uh, we spent a lot of time together. Days off, I take him running over the park. I run about two miles every day. They never let you down. No. So, I'm gonna utilize these for our garnish. He likes to roll with me. He knows he's gonna eat good. <laughs> so uh, I want to be, you know, definitely got to keep an eye on this as far as the reduction. It's almost the glaze. Gotcha. Now what I'll probably do is I'll probably hit it with a little fresh butter. They call that Montero bear. You know, like yep. the French, they don't use any flour <laughs> to thicken their sauces. Oh, really? So that's gonna like reduce it down, get the essence, throw a little butter that tightens it up and gives a nice little glaze. gloss. Yeah. Nice little yeah. gloss. Right. All right, now you just go with the blues. We'll be right back. It's all coming together. Let's say about another 15 minutes in the oven. Right back. So uh, we're doing this duck. See, 
See how much more fat it gave off? Wow. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, drain off some of the fat. Put them up under a slow broiler just to finish it crisping up. They give off a tremendous amount of fat. Yeah, so, so I say those Peking ducks, they had over 18, no, no, it's eight or 10 million uh, ducks a year out of Long Island. Ed, did we hear when we were talking about that? The Peking ducks? Yeah. Peking ducks. That bird flu wiped it out. When I was growing up, that was that was it. Pe Peking duck, that was a uh, Long Island duck. So we're gonna we're just gonna have a nice little assemblage of a melange of vegetables. Hey, see if you go down there, there's a round, there's a round uh, lid on the end over there. We want a beautiful presentation. Thank you. We want a beautiful presentation for this uh, momentous occasion. He likes duck, so it's your lucky day, Edward, because you're going to share this little feast with us. Yeah, <laughs> lucky duck. So you reduce that down, and then uh, we've got some nice wild rice. Of, uh, duck, a little bit of duck fat, or I mean duck stock, and a little bit of the duck fat. to that plate. Cells. 
We're going to have us a feast here today. Yes, sir. Hey, right, Mr. Lamoureux. What the duck is going on? Fine. Yeah. plates. in the oven.
you know what? It's so pretty. I'm not even putting any green onions on this here. Chris, Chris Smith, right? That's right. That's right. You got a good friend here, and your friend Chris, who came all the way from Long Island. It's Merry Christmas to you. Beautiful. Long Island duck. A larange. My boy Axel, my good friend Axel, gonna get a taste. <laughs> my good friend Edward, Edward, Eduardo. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Feliz Navidad and uh, health, happiness, and prosperity for the new year. Peace. Thank you.